Hey, what's up guys? Here in uh, beautiful Indiana on this lovely spring day, working on a Saturday here, and I wanted to do a video, show you where I'm at here. You can see spring is here. It's gorgeous outside, and uh, that means the humidity is also coming in, and it's really important time of year. You'll see signs like this, keep door closed. That's because the air is on inside. And I wanted to do a video just talking about the importance of getting the air conditioning on in finished homes whenever you're trimming them. And there's a lot of different reasons why that's important. Um, a most all homeowners are gonna be uneducated on why that's crucial to get the air conditioning on in the spring and summer especially. Um, and a lot of builders don't know either uh, the importance of it and uh, what can go wrong if you don't. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit. So as a trim guy, obviously, the, a big reason that I want to get the air conditioning on is because of that right there. That uh, is the remainder of a, what was a much larger pile of trim. This house is almost done. And if you don't have that stuff conditioned, you can get a ton of expansion uh, this time of year whenever the humidity really comes in. And uh, down the road, that can mean a lot of crack joints and uh, stuff like that. But there's actually probably for trimmers an even bigger deal, and that is doors. Whenever you don't have the air conditioning on this time of year in the spring, it's late May right now, what happens is in the spring especially you go and you start trimming a house in uh, let's say early april um, and the air is much drier because you're still in the cold air time of year where that air is cooler it's holding less humidity and your door slabs and your house is actually drier so you go into the house you put all the doors in and then the air conditioning is not turned on and then the weather starts to change and you get those warmer days which is going to mean the warm air is going to hold more humidity the rains are going to come just in general the humidity is going to rise and all of a sudden that hits the inside of your house and if you've already got all your door slabs installed they're going to start to take on that humidity and those perfect margins that you had will disappear and all of a sudden you're fighting a battle just to get your doors to close and i've literally had houses where i've trimmed them i've said hey get the air conditioning turned on the air conditioning didn't get turned on and then a couple months later whenever i go back whenever the house is almost ready to be finished half the doors in the house won't close um, masonite doors geldwin doors will expand um, but then also wood doors are especially bad um, but really it's universal for all doors so keep that in mind guys whenever you're setting doors in the spring if you're in the midwest i actually try to fudge my margins a little bit and make them a little bit bigger in the spring just to make sure we don't run into any issues uh, and that's especially if i'm working for a builder who i think might not turn the air conditioning on now the house i'm in right now the air conditioning is on it's a it's a nice probably 73 degrees or so and what that's going to do it's cooling the air and that's going to make so that air is not going to hold that massive amount of humidity like what you have outside whenever those temperatures start to get to 90 degrees or so so it's really really important i see i have seen disasters with doors uh, this time of year and really getting the air conditioning on it should be on from spring all the way through the fall but your your real danger zone time that I see problems the most is this springtime window whenever you have doors being installed in cooler weather the house progresses and gets finished the air doesn't get turned on and then all of a sudden that humidity comes into the home and it's not just the doors that expand, it's literally the whole envelope of the house. The cripple studs that the doors are attached to, the drywall, everything starts to soak in moisture, everything expands, and then all of a sudden doors don't shut, they start hitting and whatnot. 
So that's something really important. You'll learn from experience, um, but hopefully this video helps you not to have to learn the hard way on that. So that's, that's topic number one is uh, the doors and trim. Got to get the air on to protect that stuff. But the other thing I wanted to talk about that uh, is really misunderstood this week um, it actually wasn't this week it was last week but we really started to get this warm weather the HVAC guy came to turn on the air conditioning get it all hooked up and running and you know they get kind of disgruntled at times and uh, he said something to me uh, we were talking he's like you know why doesn't such and such builder turn on the air conditioning in their homes they've been trimming for all or they've been building homes for all these years blah 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 and they don't turn the air conditioning on why don't why do you have to have it on but they don't and i thought that was actually a very legitimate question that probably a lot of people have um, so i want to talk about that a little bit and as i was thinking about that question why does the air conditioning need to be turned on why do some builders do it and others don't the answer is some builders protect their clients investment more than others the air conditioning needs to be turned on not just to protect the trim it protects the whole home the investment they put into their framing it gets the framing dried out drywall issues you don't get that air on you might not have screw pops at closing time but as that house uh, gets conditioned then and dries out and that homeowner moves in little johnny goes and starts banging on the walls and guess what there's going to be screw pops everywhere it protects their investment in drywall paint i've seen horrible things with paint that was applied with full-blown windows open in august humidity it doesn't cure the same I can literally walk into a house, I can touch the paint on the trim, and I can tell you if that paint was sprayed whenever the air conditioning was on or off. I can tell whenever it, it's sprayed in high humidity conditions. Flooring, huge, everyone knows flooring has got to be acclimated uh, in order to protect the warranty, um, not to end up with gaps and all that stuff. So getting the air on affects a huge amount of things across the whole spectrum of the house and the simple answer on why it's got to be turned on is to protect that homeowner's investment on the brand new materials that they're putting in their house to ensure that whenever they take ownership of that house that they're at the best quality that they can be uh, it's just a shame a lot of times and I've just seen so many disasters uh, with, with these types of issues uh, that the homeowner pays all this money for a home and then they don't get a good product. So air's got to get turned on to protect the homeowner's investment. Okay, so now that I got that rant most of the way out of the way, I think I want to get into just a little bit of the science of why uh, what is actually happening whenever we're trying to condition homes and control the moisture in the air so whenever you have the summer the air temperature is hotter and i'm i'm in the midwest in indiana guys so that's the uh, that's where i'm talking from if you're in texas you're going to have a different situation california northern canada um, it's going to be different but I'm talking about here in the Midwest United States temperature in the summer rises that is going to allow more humidity to remain in the air so the hotter the temperature inside this house is the more humidity is going to be in the home more humidity in the air that means that there's going to be more absorption absorption if that's a word I think it is into your materials inside the home they're just going to soak all that humidity up so what we've got to do we've got to lower the air temperature uh, if you've got dehumidifiers in the house that's great but in my experience in the summertime uh, the humid times of the year here in the midwest dehumidifiers are worthless if you don't have the air on 
subs are gonna come in, they're gonna open all the doors up, you're gonna have all that warm air, just windows open, everything's just coming into the home. That dehumidifier will do nothing if the house is not closed and if the air is not on. So the most important thing is to get that air temperature lowered in the, uh, in the summertime. If you've got dehumidifiers going, that's great. But the most, most important thing is to get the air temperature inside the home down. Now in the winter, we also battle humidity. Uh, you're introducing moisture from paint, from drywall mud, framing lumber is usually saturated from sitting outside. You've got to get all of that moisture out of those materials. And in the winter, your air temperature is already naturally low to, to, to dehumidify your house in the winter. You've got to do the opposite. You've actually got to get the heat on, raise it up warm enough that the, that the moisture will actually come out of the materials into the air. Again, higher air temperature means the air is going to hold more humidity. So you've got to get that temperature inside the home up, even that 75 degree range, and just bake the moisture out of those materials and then run your dehumidifiers. So it's really important in the winter time, you've got to be one, you've got to have your heat on, and two, you've also got to have those dehumidifiers going um, to get your house properly acclimated. So that was just a little, um, some thoughts. Uh, I could go into more of the horror stories. Uh, another thing here in the Midwest that uh, a lot of people don't talk about, but you will find is that in your basements, if you don't get that air conditioning on, you will actually get mold in your basements during the construction process. And the science behind that has to do with dew points. Uh, you've got a basement in the Midwest and that concrete, the concrete walls and the concrete slab is going to be very cold because it's going to be more of the earth temperature so it might be 50 degrees well you take that and then you take warm outside air if that is allowed to come into the house that hot humid outside air is going to hit that cold concrete slab it's going to create a dew point and it's going to sweat like crazy so even if you've got drywall on the walls and everything inside your walls you can have that dew point with water forming and over an extended period of time or a month or so that'll actually turn into some really bad mold situations um, because a lot of times in basement there's no air moving um, and it just sweats and sweats and sweats but if the air is on in the house you've got that humidity level under control that mold is not going to be an issue either so um, keep that in mind again why do builders need to turn on the air simple to protect the homeowner's investment nobody wants to pay hundreds of thousands or million dollars millions of dollars for a home and move into it and have mold growing in the walls you know so it's uh, it's not lesson these are not lessons you want to learn the hard way but believe me I've seen uh, seen a lot of things and it's really really important to keep a home conditioned all year round so I think I'm going to end this video there if you've got any questions uh, comment down below I'll try my best to answer and uh, keep protecting the investment that uh, our homeowners are putting into their homes uh, by getting that air on in the summer and the heat on in the winter guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time